okay uh, this is uh, runtime viewer okay runtime viewer is very important thing uh, we don't get this particular runtime viewer in the controller okay so when you are making your vision script okay in order in order to see that your functionality is working perfect or not using this particular screens you can understand that is why we mostly use this runtime viewer okay the option to open this runtime viewer is as i told you that uh, that it is in general options right you remember what is the option we have used it is in uh, general. tools general options and then display we have to enable this one uh, check box uh, show the browser during replay so once you enable the option that check box uh, during your execution in the view gen so automatically this runtime viewer comes so as this is an example for irctc application see uh, first you have to understand the address of the each thing https irctc.co.in which is a normal url where there we don't have anything like session id or any uh, values so the moment you give this url which is the first request in your script automatically this has come and can you open options see here enable scripting enable java applets and enable activex controls so sometimes these might not be lo uh, loaded in your particular page so the time you can enable this options to make this applets and everything to get loaded but usually this is not required but we have an option to enable this and can you go to view option here uh, see whatever now we are seeing address bar status bar toolbar all these are the options we have in this particular uh, uh, runtime viewer that also we can see okay so here uh, next click click the next screen and source also you can see the source code of this as well for each page So the source code for this particular page, we can open it here and then uh, understand what is the source. And can you click forward? Okay. So the moment you click forward, it has gone to next page that is planned or to do request. In this particular request, we have understood that this is a current request because 12th February 2014 and 7:53 is the time. That means it is a recently just logged in page. The moment you see here the session ID for this particular thing, this is not actually present in our script. If you observe, can you show your script? What is the BV underscore session ID? We will see. It is starting with at one three one two nine four. Just open your view chip. See so if you see the BV session ID value here zero four six zero one three four eight zero, which is not the value what it is shown in the runtime here. Correct? Open that runtime here if you want. see it is 131294 correct so whatever it is hard coded in your script that is different value so the moment you have log yeah yes but but actually in the runtime viewer okay runtime viewer is showing uh, when we replay the script right or correct runtime viewer basically suppose if you have replayed your script just now can you replay it again because now it is 759 time so if you replay it again it will try to record can you close that old one So what happens now is uh, it is started executing first thing IRCTC code dot in and then the second request. Okay, it has logged out. Okay, if you see, uh, go to the first request in a, a runtime here. first request yes i told you that only just irctc got to code out in that is fine go to the next request here if you observe uh, uh, the time is 80127 that means it has just executed okay so once it is logged in see the session id what it has given in the address bar just hover on the address bar 
So this address location says now the session ID is double one zero eight three nine something value. Okay. The moment you have given credentials, it is done. Just click next. In the next request, whatever it is present in the session, so when it is executing the next request in your scripting part, it has a session ID of zero four zero one three eight four eight zero, which is hard coded value. Okay, when it is trying trying to find out that particular address, there is no such space exist, and it is saying that that particular ID is expired. So that is why click here to go to login page. This is a perfect example for correlation. So these hard coded values which will be present in a script which is not at all useful for future use, at least one hour after that. So these values you have to handle using a concept called correlation. That is why we require. Yes. But actually, Sandhya, uh, still we could able to log in here, right? See, login part. You should understand here what is, is the moment you give credentials. Okay, before you click login, it says server will throw you one session ID. It is not like once. Uh, it is not like after executing that request also, it is creating new session ID. You have to understand like this. The moment you give user ID, password in the IRCTC. Before you click login, you once you open a browser itself, it will be ready with one session ID. The server will be ready. Okay. So what will happen? That session, the moment you click click in, you can see that session ID. But in the background, in the preview, once you see that, automatically you can see that session ID before itself. Okay. So in the next request, when you are sending a next request. What it will do is the created session ID plus the request here. What you are doing first, the moment you have given username, password, and then click login. So before you clicking login itself, the server is ready with one session ID. And once you log into this Plan My Travel page, once you have given from location and to location, and then click Find Trains, it is not only in from the front end part you are just giving only from station and to station. Okay, but in the background, what is happening is it is capturing your create whatever you got session ID plus. From station to station and find trains. All the three requests, it will just um, it, uh, just take it and then it will go to server. So that server will authenticate that you are the user and you are the session. Like that session ID, it will recognize and it will think that you are authenticated and then it will proceed with the next request. So the moment it, then it will show you the list of trains. And once you want to click on one particular train, that time what you are sending, you are just sitting there find availability or something. So that time once you are clicking find availability, your session ID plus your train list plus everything. So every time your session ID will go as a reference to server that you are one uh, not expired session. So if the session is expired automatically, that session ID will be killed. So next time when you are using the same session ID, it will not give you the pages. That is what it is happening right now, right? Whatever session ID you have used earlier. It is now not showing, and it is showing that page is expired. Did you get my point? So yeah, each. Yeah, I got your point. But uh, yeah, uh, the only doubt I had is like uh, after once we try to log in, mm -hmm. uh, we already have one. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, we already have one hard coded session ID here, uh, which has been not uh, taken from the uh, recording. Correct. So. So, uh, this session uh, should not happen. We should not be able to log in, right? Go to the user init part. See that se session ID. What you have got it? It is only because of the user init, not because of the uh, request present in action. The moment you have given this particular executed this IRCTC dot co dot you browser. And these are the credentials you are giving. The moment you give it, it will be given one session ID before executing the next request. Okay, but you have this uh, session ID recorded only in the next request because when you are sending a uh, from location to location plus one request, it is showing you go to that action part. So, but here when you are sending a request here, VB session ID, engine ID. And then you are sending a from station to station. Then only it is showing you in your script. Script is different part, and server generation is script a different part. Along with this request to authenticate yourself that it has sent this particular value. You don't think that only this particular value is generated at this moment. It has generated already. 
ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> 